TIB if you're looking for an easy simple wash and go for natural hair this is the video for you but before we get into all that go ahead and like comment and subscribe and while you're at it turn on post notifications so with all that being said and done let's get into the video okay so when I do my wash and goes I like to keep it really simple so I only use three products and that's water gel and oil so here's my water bottle and I use the Jamaican black castor oil and then the eco that I use is the black castor and flaxseed oil gel. I'm going to start on this first section and if you see me looking down I'm going to be looking either at my mirror this way or my phone down here. Okay I'm going to spray this with a little bit of water. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my Jamaican black castor oil and normally I get the just the plain black castor oil but for some reason I decided to grab the one tea tree oil and it'll work for now. That was kind of too much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and oil this section of my hair. You have to make sure your hair is really moisturized when you put in like all this gel in your hair. Okay, I'm going to go in with the gel now. I'm going to start by taking a section of my hair. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pin this up. I'm actually going to spray a bit more water on my hair. And then just run your fingers just run your fingers through your hair I think it's, I think the method is called like raking but I'm not 100% sure I'm just making sure like every single strand of your hair is covered in gel make sure you get your roots too Excuse my dog, he's so rude. So I'm just going through it. Okay, so I went ahead and finished this section. As you can see, it curled up. It's still gonna curl up like a little bit more though. Let me zoom in. And look at the definition. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize the other part of my hair. And don't overdo it, because I feel like when you put too much oil, the gel doesn't work like it should. Okay, and then just go ahead and get you a section of hair, pin the rest up. And then just start running that gel through your hair. Okay, Trey, I got this. You see how my ends are right now? They need to be like, like this. That's how you know you have like fully saturated.
Okay, so now we're gonna work on this section. And I'm sorry if y'all hear snoring in the background. It's my dog. Blue. Shut up. Why I wanna hear you snoring? I can see why people don't really like doing wash and goes. Cause before I like, before I found out like what products work for me, like I was one of people that like, that'd be sitting in the mirror crying because they can't figure out what to do there. But being natural, like it takes some time. You, you gotta like really, you gotta really have patience. <laughs> I think I, um, I've been fully natural since 2012. So I remember in 2011, I got my last perm. I believe it was the end of like ninth grade. And then I just started cutting off my um, relaxed ends like every so often. And I remember I finally cut it off. <laughs> In 2012, and after I did, I did it by myself. I think I was like in um, 11th grade. My hair, it looked like a little baby. I don't know, cause my hair shrinks a lot, so it looked like a little baby afro. Like I almost wanted to cry until I actually started like pulling my hair like out, like stretching it out, and seeing that it wasn't really that short. But yeah, once you like know what products work for your hair, like doing a wash and go is really simple. If I wasn't recording, like it takes me like less than an hour to do my wash and go. From your fingers through the cap, 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 cap. Slip them edges down. I mean, I'm not really slicking my edge down with gel, but I'm just getting them to lay down a little bit. So since this is my first video, if you want to see like a certain type of video from me or just anything, just comment down below like what you want to see from me in the future. I think the next video I want to compare this gel that I'm using and then Eco. They have like this black gel that I tried before, but I never tried it on a wash and go. I just tried it to like do like a slick ponytail and it worked out good. So I think the next video I do is just me comparing the difference between the two if there's a difference. So before my camera died and really interrupted me, I was saying that my hair is not heat damaged just for some reason like this section of my hair has like a looser curl pattern than say the back but it's still gonna curl up though i swear once you know what products like really work for your hair like i swear a wash and go would be like the one of your favorite go-to hairstyles because with me it's either a wash and go or me like a a wash and go with my pup or me slicking my hair down like a bun. Don't forget your edges. And when you're applying like the gel to your edges, don't let it just sit there like, how do I say, like make sure you're distributing it from your like roots to like the ends of your hair. Don't just let the gel sit right there because I feel like that's what caused like people hair to start like flaking and stuff.
all I see is the balls and falls. Blue. You don't get put out. You can go sleep in your cage. Boo. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is slick down this part of my hair. I do not like hair on my face. Like it really bothers me. Let me get a brush. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna add uh, some gel up here at the top, just to flatten out my hair a little bit. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished look. My hair is still slightly damp in the middle, but this is pretty much how it's gonna look throughout the rest of the night. Okay, so if you found this video helpful at all, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.